is very much uh, directly targeted at people in the, uh, the highways and transportation field and rather than being part of a wide, much wider engineering industry there is a lot of people that work in highways and transportation and it's fantastic that we have our own body to represent us and to promote the industry rather than being lost within a much wider range of disciplines they can work very directly on the, the highways and transportation field which is a huge uh, part of the economy and hugely important and it's fantastic that as professionals we have a, an institution to represent us. I was the, the chair of the uh, Central and Southern Scotland branch of the um, institution. I represented the CIST within the region at um, industry events, at CIST events and at um, events of other institutions. So my main role as I saw it was to be the, the figurehead, the, 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 the representative of the CIST, which gave me lots of opportunities to meet a wide range of people that I wouldn't otherwise meet in my, in my day job. I believe one of the, um, the great things that the CIST offers that's maybe less well known than it should be is the routes to professional qualification that they can offer from um, apprentice technicians through to um, chartered engineer uh, status and this is something that uh, has been a real boon for the, for the industry where the process actually recognises people that work in the industry and takes into account their day to day work, the type of work that they do and is specifically tailored to it and certainly I've been encouraging our younger engineers to, to use the CIST as a route and I think that's something that as, a, uh, as an institution we should be promoting more and more. Another area where I think the institution has a lot to offer is encouraging people into the industry and once they're in the industry, uh, keeping them there and I guess across the engineering profession as a whole, getting fresh blood into the industry is becoming quite a challenge in this day, day and age. In particular, um, a thing I've been involved in recently is the promotion of uh, getting more uh, girls and women into, into the engineering profession and into STEM subjects as a whole and it's great to see that the, the CIST is recognised that and now has its own uh, um, strategy to encourage diversity within the industry. I've worked in the highways and transportation field for over 30 years now and in that time I've seen a huge change in what the industry does and the, the type of work that they do and the range of professionals and disciplines that are involved in, in the highways and transportation now is much wider and I think it's fantastic that the CIST recognises that diversity all working towards a common purpose which is developing and um, maintaining the and operating the, the highways and transportation systems around the country. So I think that the CIST is to be commended for having such a, a broad church of, of members and that's something that I see been more and more the case as, the, as things develop and new technologies come along. And uh, lastly I believe it gives um, fantastic opportunities for, for CPD events as well to get involved and not just um, participate but actually run these things and present them and, and really get involved which I think is a, is a great thing for your personal development and for your, your career. I would say join without without any hesitation at all. For the reasons I gave earlier I think it's, it's important that um, we promote the industry and uh, as, as working in that industry it's, I think we should, it's important that we, we support it and, and put something back rather than just taking taking things out so from that point of view it's important to add your, add your voice to the, to the industry, to the institution to give it more, um, more clout if you like I think also it's a, it's a very uh, good way of having your uh, knowledge and experience recognised in a formal objective way